Raymond Burr was one of the most popular actors of his time, but he had many secrets that he didn't reveal, perhaps out of fear this would jeopardize his incredibly successful career. But living a secret life caused him lots of grief, and it took a lot of fortitude to get through his struggles. Join Facts First as we present Raymond Burr Lived His Secret Life in Excruciating Pain. Raymond William Stacy Burr was born May 21, 1917 in New Westminster, British Columbia. While he didn't come from a showbiz background, his mother was a music teacher, and his father was a hardware salesman. His parents divorced when he was six, and he moved to the U.S. with his mother and siblings, settling in California. Not too much is known about his childhood and his formative years. It's rumored that many of the stories he gave in interviews weren't true, and there's little evidence or records that can tell us about his upbringing. For example, he once claimed that during his teens, he was sent to New Mexico to work on a ranch for a year. We still don't know if this is actually true, but we do know he took an interest in acting at a young age and began acting in local plays during his teen years. He eventually joined the Pasadena Playhouse to study acting. He also stated, though this hasn't been verified, that he joined a theater group in Vancouver and traveled the world with them to perform plays, going to countries like India, Australia, and parts of the UK. In 1940, when he was 23, he moved to New York to pursue a career in acting. He couldn't have made the move at a better time. While California had Hollywood, New York also had a rich cultural scene. He performed many plays with the Pasadena Playhouse in New York and even appeared in a few Broadway plays. Though he didn't exactly become a star through his theater work, it was enough to help him become known in the acting fraternity. It was theater where he was able to develop his craft. But ultimately, theater is what got him his big break in television and cinema. In 1944, he appeared in the Broadway play The Duke in Darkness. Though he had a supporting role, it was enough for him to gain attention from an executive at RKO Radio Pictures. This was the beginning of his acting career. What starts now is a reflection on one of the most incredible film and TV careers we've seen in America. Raymond Burr's Career Raymond Burr began his film career in 1946 with a small role as Paul Gill in the feature film Without Reservations. This was followed by a drama called San Quentin, which is largely acknowledged as his first major role, even though it was a supporting one. He starred alongside Lawrence Tierney, one of the biggest stars of the time. But he continued to get steady work for the remainder of the 40s and the 50s. Sometimes these were supporting roles and sometimes larger ones. His roles were diverse, but he became mostly known for his villainous roles in many great film noirs. Among these were Desperate, Sleep My Love, Pitfall, Red Light, and Crime of Passion. He played one of the roles that he's arguably most loved for in Alfred Hitchcock's film Rear Window. He played Lars Thorwald, a man spied upon by James Stewart's character L.B. Jeffries, who believes he's murdered his wife. The role was actually small, and we don't hear Raymond Burr's voice until the end of the film. Hitchcock wanted an actor who was known to audiences, but still had an air of mystery to him, and that's exactly who Raymond Burr was. It remains one of his best films and best roles. He had a commanding presence on screen which made him perfect for mystery films and film noir, which he was best known for. But he also did exceptionally well in westerns and horror films. He had regular roles in many of the original Godzilla films. He was arguably one of the most entertaining actors to watch and is still recognized as one of the greatest actors of his generation. His deep voice also made him perfect for radio, and he had a great career as a radio actor as well. But he entered the next phase of his career in the late 1950s after already having an incredibly successful career in cinema. He was cast as Perry Mason in the self-titled TV series, though he had originally auditioned for the supporting role as District Attorney Hamilton Berger. This was a legal drama and showed that Burr's presence was big enough for the small screen as well. Later, he also became known for Ironside, in which he played the titular character in this riveting crime series. Raymond Burr was unstoppable and gave us so many great characters, some heroic, many villainous, but always powerful and commanding. He also worked until his death in 1993, with his final works being reunion projects about Perry Mason and Ironside. Raymond Burr lived his secret life in excruciating pain. Raymond Burr was known for telling tall tales about his childhood and even his adult life. But why did he do that? Is it because his early life was too bland, or was it because he had something to hide? Raymond was briefly married to Isabella Ward from 1948 to 1952, when they got divorced. He even invented the story that he had other wives, but his relationships with women never went too far. 
Raymond Burr was gay, and he kept this hidden from the public. After all, his career took off in the 40s and 50s, which were a lot more conservative. Even as the liberal 1960s approached and themes of homosexuality became more prevalent in film and television, it was still taboo for actors to be open about their homosexuality. But there were always others who were eager to out celebrities, and perhaps it's even more so now. Raymond Burr had to live a secret life, not telling most people that he was gay and that he had a partner. Though later we did learn he had a partner, Robert Benavides. Raymond lived his secret life in excruciating pain, feeling that he had to hide who he was to avoid being blacklisted and perhaps to avoid it ruining the incredible image he had carved for himself in film and television. After his passing, many people around him, including his colleagues, stated they felt Raymond Burr was gay, but he didn't want to reveal it in case it ruined his career. It's a testament to who the man was that others didn't try to blackmail him or out him without his consent but he made so many tall tales and various biographies state differing accounts of his personal life. He would often talk about his wives and children, perhaps as a way to hide his relationship with men. Today, things would perhaps be much easier for Raymond Burr, but Raymond had to put up with a lot of pain in order to not jeopardize his career or the tough guy image he put up in his various characters. He's an inspiration to all actors, but he's often recognized as a trailblazer who paved the way for other gay actors. For his incredible life and career, we can only look at him in awe. Raymond Burr died September 12, 1993, in California at age 76. He's still recognized as one of the great actors of his generation, and people will be watching his films and TV shows for generations to come. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you aware of Raymond Burr's secret life? What do you think about his struggles? Let us know in the comments section below.